Women get paid less than men in the workplace, however, end up paying more at the register when purchasing everyday necessities. According to a recent study from the United States Government Accountability Office, personal care products targeted to women are sold at a higher average price compared to men. In early October, Mayor Muriel Bowser announced that in D.C. there will no longer be a sales tax on feminine hygiene products. Annually, women spend hundreds of dollars on feminine hygiene products alone, which can be a hefty price from their paycheck. I definitely do think it's the expense because it is like very expensive, something that we have to use every month. It really goes into like your budget. Some women appreciate Maya Bowser's pink tax, but also think there are bigger issues when it comes to feminine hygiene products. I think it's good that they'll be taking the taxes off, but some of the products are still... I don't think that they're worth the amount that they cost. Usually tamp tampons, depending on the uh, the brand, is usually about like 10 bucks or so, like 10 or 9 bucks. And the chemicals that they have in there, like those products shouldn't be on the shelf. That if they're going to market, there should be products that are natural products and that aren't going to harm your body. Howard University nurse practitioner Juanita Allen Hextall believes that the pain tax would be beneficial for college students. Of course, it would help. College students need that pocket change. So not having to pay tax on something, especially like feminine products, would give them that little bit of pocket change for a snack, for that late night snack when they're studying, for uh, pens or pencils or whatever. It will go the furthest with college students. Yeah. Paying for feminine products can put a huge dent in a woman's pockets. Women spend hundreds of dollars per year on these products, and according to the Huffington Post, women will spend more than $18,000 on products like tampons in their lifetime. With Mayor Bowser's pink tax exempt, women in the district will be able to save their coins. For News Vision, I'm Taylor Ardrey.